Hey, that's my Charmin Ultra Plush. Scenario has hit the fan. In times of panic, everything gets a little sketchy. You guys, once the machines go down, then society collapses. We're going to hell in a handcart. Toilet paper is gone. Ammo is gone. Food is gone. There is no milk, bread, or eggs for miles. People start wanting to play adult laser tag in the streets, and you were never one to have guns before. You said you didn't need them, but now you're starting to think you probably need something to defend yourself and your family, and you really don't know what to do. You run to the store, you look over and you see two matching set guns for under $500, and you think, oh my god, what a steal. That's when I give you the full high point loadout. So what I brought for you today is a full loadout of nothing but high point brand firearms. A lot of people shit on high point because they are super cheap, they are cheaply made, they're pretty much a meme gun at this point, hence why the pistol I brought was actually crowdsourced and named the Yeet Cannon. So this optic already fell off because I tried doing a $100 Amazon parts flip on this $200 gun, just to be ironic and funny. The mount on this is definitely not like standard Picatinny. It was $20 total for this uh, riser and all. And the railing on this high point is also not uh, standard by any means. Uh, but the plus side is their Picatinny rails are plastic on high points. So this um, foregrip also would not fit, but you can just drill through the plastic Picatinny rails and it will now fit. So some would argue cheap and out of spec. I'd argue there's room for customization. Anyway, people love to shit on high point because they're cheap, cheaply made. High point's mission is respectable they want everyone to affordably be able to protect themselves so shit on their quality all you want you got to respect their ambitions you know so i got a high point 995t tst i can't remember i'll put it in the description like i said i got bored so i got on amazon and i bought a hundred dollars of amazon aftermarket gun parts just because like this is already just chaos so why not the optic fell off as I put it in the car to come here today because nothing is in spec. Uh, I got a sick little bipod for 20 bucks, little foregrip, an extended mag, and I think that was it. Yeah, um, there's nothing really fancy about this gun. Oh, no, 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 this muzzle brake. That was more expensive than everything else on the gun because I had to get it from high point, but it doesn't even thread on. It just pushes on and there's a little bolt. So that's super secure, super safe. We're gonna see if you had $500 to spare and you, or not even to spare, if you had $500 and shit hit the fan and you knew nothing about guns and you panic bought a high point 9mm carbine and the high point 9mm yeet cannon, would it be worth your time and money? We're gonna find out. I'm gonna put a couple rounds through this and see how bad it jams. The big thing with this is everyone says a shit quality control, they jam a ton. Full disclosure, I actually bought this gun. This was probably the second gun I ever bought. And again, it was before I knew anything. And I was just like, oh, nine millimeter. I have a nine millimeter. Well, it's not a high point. It's like, I'm just gonna grab this thing. And then like a year later, when I finally started getting into guns, I was like, oh, this isn't very good. I never really got to shoot it that much. But we'll see reliability wise. Oh, safety's on. Safety first. We will see. How this works. So I'm just gonna, I, mean, I can't aim at it. I mean, I threw the old optic. I'll just shoot at it a lot. Oh, oh, the muzzle brake fell off. Because again, it's not a threaded barrel. It just crudely bolts on and does not hold on. I guess I could put some thread lock on there. We will not hold that against high point. They should have just had a threaded barrel. Factory mag. It's actually not bad. I put my sick bipod down so I can keep it out of the elements for a minute.
If you ever need lawn care services, this uh, might be your brand. Did it make it? Okay, the $20 red dot. I don't see a bolt. Ah, there's a, that's probably not good. Yeah, it doesn't run now. Damn, I wanted my refund. I don't see the riser anywhere. That's an animal shit. Okay. Okay, so that ran. Let's run the Yeet Cannon. So we have the Yeet Cannon. For those unaware, I think this is just the YC9 pistol they make, but they kind of crowdsourced and was like, what should we name the new one? And they call it the Yeet Cannon because it's a fucking cheeseburger. And it's more, it's definitely more likely to kill you when you throw it than not. I tried to do a skit once where I said the Yeet Cannon is the bounty hunter's weapon of choice. And I like turned and there was some bounty toilet paper and I threw this at it lightly and it lightly hit the floor. And this is the result. We'll see if it still works. If not, I do take slight credit, but it shouldn't have broken that. Also chambered a nine millimeter. Oh, got our first uh, Jamie Josta. Oh! There we are. Oh, Jamie Josta. Oh! So you can see it's not all the way in battery. It's just stuck in there. Can't, it ain't budging. So, I think we already killed the Yeet Cannon. <laughs> that was so sad. We made it, what, like, is that my second, third shot? Yeah. <laughs> this is scary. I don't like their safety because it only works if it's lined up there. So, like, I can't really put this on safe right now. Well, Yeet Cannon failed. Guess we're on to the next thing. Okay, so the Yeet Cannon really didn't want to work for us. So we're just gonna start torture testing this carbine that is still alive. We lost a muzzle brake. We lost an optic. Not really its fault because they were aftermarket. Well, it was aftermarket, but that was a high point part. Anyway, this is unloaded. There's no mag. We're gonna see if it's the Yeet Cannon. One more for good measure. Okay. All right. We're in. Safety's off. I can't really target, but. Ugh. We're eye pro, kids. Put mud in my eye. One mag good. That's the best way to clean your charging handle is to just shoot because then it cleans everything off. One more mag, we'll see if it passes. Or a chamber. Firing. This is running fine. I think if I would have like put an actual optic on it that fit its really not not correct plastic Picatinny rail. We might've had something here. And it did come with nice irons. I'm just a jackass and thought it'd be funny to do like a ghetto flip. Next test. Okay, at this point, we are actually doing pretty good. Everything's doing okay so far. I yeeted this motherfucker about three times. I, we do have to see if it'll do better. So, I'm going to lightly lay it down. And now we're gonna run it over.
That should that should buff out. It looks all right. Again, the high point itself does not look bad. Let's see if it shoots. It chambered. Firing. Buddy. I feel like Riley Reed getting blasted in the face like this. We're good. We're still good. Hey, that's my Charmin Ultra Plush. Oh, I killed the four grit. <laughs> okay. So I've officially just killed every aftermarket part except for the extendo mag, which I can't remember if I got from High Point themselves or not. <sighs> I'm just speechless at this point. Well, if you're that desperate, everyone's looting. You got nowhere else to turn. The High Point 995TTS. I didn't care about it enough to even remember its official name. Might be a decent call for you. See you next time.